Welcome to Chapter 3 of our thrilling tale, where the virtual world comes alive with the magic and mystery of the holiday season. In the heart of this digital town, the air shimmers with the warmth of holiday lights, casting a glow that is both inviting and mysterious. A massive Christmas tree stands proudly in the town square, its ornaments glistening like jewels, while flickering lights cast eerie shadows across the cobblestone path. Here, we find Maya Thompson and Ethan Reyes, two teenagers standing at the edge of the square, their hearts pounding with anticipation and tension. As they adjust their VR headsets, the atmosphere is charged with their differing beliefs, setting the stage for an unforgettable journey. Join us as we delve into this captivating chapter, where the line between reality and the virtual world blurs, and the spirit of the season takes on a whole new meaning. As the simulation begins, the festive decorations around Maya and Ethan warp and twist, mirroring the inner turmoil they both feel. Maya, with her bright green eyes, scans the surroundings, searching for any sign of the sinister spirit her grandmother spoke of in her stories. The weight of her family's history presses down on her, urging her to confront the spirit that haunts their town. Beside her, Ethan grapples with his own fears, the pressure of his family's expectations heavy on his shoulders. Known for his logical mind and tech-savvy nature, Ethan finds himself questioning everything as the lights flicker ominously around them. The ground beneath him seems to shift, challenging his skepticism and pushing him towards a new understanding. Together, they stand on the precipice of discovery, their hearts racing as they prepare to face the unknown. Sophie Chin, a newcomer with a talent for capturing beauty in darkness, stands a few steps behind Maya and Ethan. Her expressive brown eyes are wide with anticipation as she clutches her sketchbook, ready to translate the swirling emotions into art. The air around them thickens with an electric charge, signaling the arrival of something extraordinary. Suddenly, a shadowy figure emerges from the mist, its glowing eyes piercing through the darkness. This is the sinister spirit, a guardian of the town's past, both terrifying and strangely comforting. Maya steps forward, her voice trembling yet firm, as she addresses the spirit. In this moment, the spirit's form shifts, revealing a tapestry of emotions. Sorrow and joy intertwined. The teenagers realize that the spirit is not a malevolent force but a reflection of their own unresolved grief. As they confront their fears and insecurities, they begin to understand the spirit's true nature, learning that acknowledging both joy and sorrow is essential for healing. The confrontation with the sinister spirit unfolds, and the teenagers face their deepest fears and insecurities. Each revelation brings them closer to understanding the spirit's true nature, teaching them that embracing both joy and sorrow is crucial for healing. As they acknowledge their emotions, the flickering lights around them stabilize, transforming into a harmonious glow that symbolizes the unity they are beginning to forge. In this surreal moment, amidst the festive yet eerie backdrop of the VR simulation, Maya, Ethan, and Sophie stand together, ready to honor the spirit and the history it represents. They understand that the path to healing lies not in denial, but in embracing the complexities of their emotions. As they prepare to confront the spirit fully, they feel a sense of hope blossoming within them, a promise of unity and understanding that transcends the boundaries of their virtual world. 